Okay, guys, so here we are in part two of prepping for a special project where I am taking the painting studies out of the art journal. I did them in originally, and we're now going to do them on some small canvases I had laying around the art studio. I am starting by creating backgrounds for both canvases, uh, both compositions, and then letting that dry completely before we go on to the next step. I don't want a repeat of what happened in the journal with me because I was impatient not waiting and creating mud. So uh, we are going to let things dry before we go on. I did also discover from the initial painting study in the journal that I really wanted to try the face on a dark background rather than a light background, which to be perfectly honest and frank is the opposite of how I normally work. But the idea of it when looking at the art journal page just was very intriguing. So I thought, what the heck? Let's try it. As you'll see through this process, which will be at least a two-part series, the results were not at all what I expected. And I will be back with my thoughts on that in the conclusion of the little canvases, which is going to be in part two, uh, part three. Um, anyway, so we are prepping one canvas that is in all dark shades, dark cool shades, black paints, gray, violet, blue, and um, then the one for the sunflower is whites, grays, some rosy pink tones, and some blues. I'm going to fast forward through the process. I'm going to fast forward through the initial uh, part where I'm using basically the same colors I used in the journal to map out initial shapes and designs and uh, the initial level of comp composition. It's by no means finished. This is a very rough first and second layer. Um, so enjoy the process and I will see you at the end.
Okay, so this is the conclusion of part two. We're not quite done yet. This is only uh, the second layer, af uh, the first layer after the background. And I have more work to do on both canvases. You'll see in part three where exactly I go with this, with both the face and the sunflowers. And it isn't at all the results that I expected. Uh, my thoughts and conclusions on what I'm going to do on the large canvas are not at all what I anticipated. Uh, when I started this whole process of doing all of these studies. But each time I paint the compositions, both of them, I am learning something new about what I like and don't like about the work as a whole, and I'm altering what I'm doing each time I'm doing it. There's something to be said for doing these little painting studies, whether you're just doing them on paper or you're doing them on small canvases or scraps before you commit to the large work on a larger piece. So if you're out there and you're thinking about creating some artwork to hang on the wall especially, do a few studies first and play around with different colors and compositions, uh, different light sources, different mediums, different tools, and do it a few times. Take some advice from me. I never listened to my teachers when they told me to practice, 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 but this is part of it. You should practice and do some studies first before you commit yourself to the big piece. That's it for today. Don't forget to have some fun, create some art, enjoy yourself, and above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.